Have you ever wondered why control valves in an industry start misbehaving, leading to various operational issues? This is a question that has been on the minds of instrument engineers across different industries. You see, they've been dealing with a peculiar issue, the hunting of control valves. Now, you might be wondering what exactly this means. Well, it's when a control valve starts operating abnormally, showing a discrepancy between the command and the feedback. This may seem like a minor hiccup, but let's not underestimate the ripple effect it can cause. The consequences are far from trivial. We're talking about significant production losses and, in some cases, the whole plant tripping. All because of disturbances in parameters such as pressure, flow, temperature or level. So, what's causing these control valves to go on a hunting spree? Let's delve deeper into the reasons behind this hunting of control valves. Now, what causes this hunting of control valves in an industrial setting? Well, the reasons are multifaceted and can be traced back to a variety of factors. Let's break it down. One common cause is when the body of the valve gets stuck. Just as a door can jam if it's not properly aligned with its frame, a valve can cease to operate effectively if it's not free to move as intended. Then we have what's known as an actuator passing issue. The actuator is a critical component in the functioning of a control valve. And if it's not passing correctly, it can result in the valve hunting. It's like a car with a faulty engine. It won't run smoothly if it runs at all. Next up, there's the low air pressure setting from the air filter regulator. This can be likened to a bicycle tire that's not sufficiently inflated. It won't provide the optimal ride and the same applies to a control valve. If the air pressure is too low, it can lead to hunting. Another common culprit is an instrument air tube leak or choke. Imagine trying to drink from a straw with a hole in it or one that's pinched at the end. It's not going to work very well, right? Similarly, if the instrument air tube has a leak or is choked, it can cause the control valve to hunt. Then there's the issue of instrument air pressure fluctuations. Just as driving on a bumpy road can make for an uncomfortable ride, fluctuations in air pressure can cause a control valve to hunt. It needs a steady, consistent supply of air pressure to function optimally. Lastly, we have problematic positioners. These devices control the position of the valve, and if they're not functioning correctly, it can lead to hunting. Imagine trying to steer a boat with a broken rudder. It's not going to go where you want it to, and the same is true for a control valve with a faulty positioner. Understanding these reasons is the first step towards addressing the issue of control valve hunting. To solve this problem, our instrument engineers carried out a fault tree analysis. Now, you might be wondering, what is a fault tree analysis? Well, think of it as a detective's tool. It's a methodical approach used by engineers to track down the cause of a problem. Like a detective, engineers start with the crime, or in our case, the issue at hand. The hunting of control valves. They then work their way back, tracing each potential cause until they hit the root of the problem. So how does it work? In the case of the control valve hunting, the engineers started by identifying the top event the observable symptom of the problem. They noted that the control valve was hunting and not operating correctly. This was the crime that needed solving. From there, they started to branch out, looking at all the potential causes. Each potential cause was like a suspect and the engineers needed to determine which ones were innocent and which ones were guilty. They looked at issues like the valve body getting stuck, actuator passing issues, low air pressure settings and instrument air tube leaks among others. Each of these potential causes was then further broken down as needed into sub-causes. This created a tree-like diagram with the top event at the root and the potential causes branching out like limbs. Hence the term fault tree. The engineers carefully examined each branch, gathering evidence and ruling out innocent suspects. It was a process of elimination. By systematically working their way through the fault tree, they were able to zero in on the root cause of the problem. In the end, the fault tree analysis provided a visual map of the problem, allowing the engineers to understand the complexities and interdependencies of the various factors involved. It guided them in their investigation and helped them identify the core issue causing the control valve hunting. With the root cause identified, it was time for the instrument engineers to implement solutions. So. How did the instrument engineers tackle this issue of control valve hunting? 
They directly address the root causes identified in the fault tree analysis. Let's walk through the solutions they implemented. First, to counteract the problem of the valve body getting stuck, the engineers employed rigorous routine maintenance and inspection protocols. This ensured that any potential issues were identified and rectified before they could cause any serious operational disruption. Next, they tackled the actuator passing issue by replacing faulty actuators and opting for more robust and reliable models. This not only eliminated the problem at hand, but also improved the overall performance and longevity of the control valves. The engineers then turned their focus to the issue of low air pressure settings from the air filter regulator. They adjusted the settings to optimal levels, ensuring the smooth and efficient operation of the control valves. To address the issues of instrument air tube leaks, chokes and pressure fluctuations, the engineers implemented a comprehensive monitoring system. This enabled them to quickly identify and rectify any irregularities, minimizing downtime and production losses. Lastly, the engineers addressed the problematic positioner issue by replacing the faulty positioners with high-quality alternatives. They also carried out regular checks and maintenance to ensure their optimal functioning. Through these targeted solutions, the instrument engineers were able to effectively tackle the issue of control valve hunting. They addressed each root cause with a specific tailored solution, demonstrating the importance of thorough fault tree analysis. These strategic measures not only solved the immediate problem, but also improved the overall operational efficiency of the control valves across the different plants and industry sections. The engineer's proactive approach and effective problem-solving skills prevented further production losses and potential plant tripping incidents. And that, dear viewers, is how our instrument engineers solved the problem of control valve hunting, ensuring smooth operation across various plants and industry sections.